What I like to do with these questions is just run it a bunch of times. So let's see if it's if it's working. So I'm just going to go ahead and check on this first thing. So we've got we're looking for a mobile money pot monitor as the first line, and then three lines of mouse and mouse pad. So if we go down and we can see what I actually returned is not correct. Cool. Uh, so let's solve these problems. So the first thing I notice is my first uh, my first return is not correct. So it's sorted correctly. That's good. Um, but I've got five results instead of three. Um, if I go back and check on the question here, it says write an algorithm that will output a maximum of three keyword suggestions. OK, so I totally forgot to put that in here. So what I'm going to do instead is if Word starts with query, I'm just add another check. And um, single pass result dot size is less than three. So if it's less than three, then we'll go ahead and add it. So let's see if that fixed uh, that first problem. Uh, cool. So now we've got only one of those, which is great. But then we have uh, an additional two things, which is kind of weird. Um, why is that? So let's go back and check on the again, um, just kind of quickly browsing through this requirement says when given a maximum of two characters. OK, so that's my problem here. I did not check this one either. So instead of a maximum of two characters, I basically start at the very beginning. So I'm going to switch this over to two. Try this one more time. OK, we're almost there. So we've got a mobile money pot monitor and then mouse and mouse pad, but we only have those two times instead of three. And I think the reason is I'm actually ending my query one character too early. I think that's because this should be less than or equals instead of less than. So just running this one last time. And cool, I'm looking good. So then this is giving me a handy button right here called run all test cases. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And let's see how I'm doing with all, against all of my test cases. OK, so I'm missing quite a few test cases here. Um, and what you're going to see here is that these are all hidden test cases. So I can't actually see what the input and output is to them. It says use print or log statements to debug why your hidden test cases are failing. OK. Uh, one thing to note also, though, is the test case 0 and 1, you're actually going to be able to see um, the expected output, the output, and the input to all of to both of these questions. Um, unfortunately for me, I'm actually passing both of these, so that's not really helping me with why I'm not passing uh, these other cases. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just print out the inputs. So repository equals repository. So just using Java's two string method here to print that out. I'll do the same thing for the customer query. Again, I can just auto complete that, which is really nice. And let's run this again. So I'm probably going to fail those same test cases I would expect. Um, OK, so my debug output um, is the repository is ABBS in my output over here. OK. So interestingly, I think um, one thing that I'm noticing for these, uh, if I kind of walk through, is that each one of these has a bunch of uppercase letters. And I remember that we're talking about comparing things in case insensitive way. And I think. Uh, Yep, and the output also says return a list of a list of strings in lowercase. And I think um, you can see my output clearly is not in lowercase right here. And I'm pretty sure I'm not comparing in a case insensitive way either, since I didn't do anything about uh, lowercasing. I'm going to remove these compile errors again real quick, just to make sure nothing is weird. And let's go ahead and fix that problem about case insensitivity. So, We've got our sorted repository that I created in this way, where I'm just passing in the actual repository. So I think doing that is kind of problematic because I just copy everything in as is. And so what I'm going to do instead is do it with a for loop. Let's call this word, and we'll walk through the repository. And then it's going to add everything individually. Except when I add it, I'm just going to switch it to lowercase. Um, 
I know there's better ways to do this uh, with Java 8 in terms of stream uh, and whatnot, but I'm going to skip those for now um, to keep it a little bit more accessible for a wider range of programming languages. Um, so add uh, lowercase here. And then the other thing I need to do is my temp query, which is kind of the main thing I'm using to compare. Let's also lowercase that. And let's try this again and see if I have kind of resolved some of these issues. Aha, uh -huh. OK, great. All of my available test cases passed, so that's awesome. But yeah, I think that was about how far I was going to take that question. Um, at that point, I would just submit um, since I was passing all of the test cases. And I'd be done. I'd move on to the next question if there was one or uh, be totally done.